Every life choice we make creates our world. We are the prison maker, the prisoner, and also the jail keeper. Now, interest rates have just risen by 0.25%. You can think, oh, this is really bad. I'm not going to buy a property right now. Or you can free yourself of those mindset shackles and find out how everyday people are still buying en masse and getting ahead massively. In this episode, I'll take us through more than 10 recent deals that I've just posted on my Facebook group. I'll take us through subdivision deals, through positive cash flow deals, deals where people have made 100K in a number of months, deals where they've got them off market, deals where they've saved themselves and negotiation tens of thousands of dollars. So if you're ready for a mindset shift and you want to aim towards the early retirement, regardless of your external world, really focusing on your internal world, your mindset, then this video is for you guys. My name is PK and I help people build passive income through the Property Investment Accelerator using data without needing a $15,000 buyer's agent every single time. And this channel, we talk about property, economy, and financial happiness. Hit the subscribe button, give it a like, turn the notification bell on. 13 deals, here we go, by the way, all the clients are tagged they've been posted in my Facebook group in the month of October so they're all verifiable and there's so many of them I've posted multiple thousands of deals over the years on this Facebook group that more than a thousand clients have bought let's go first one 6.9% high yield off-market Queensland deal under four hundred thousand dollars two properties in two months this is from Leon Deacon you can see he's tagged here I'll show you the picture in a second but just to go through the highlights central Queensland suburb it's not hard to guess where central Queensland would be buying growing every single month so even as interest rates rise properties do rise as well this was not on realestate.com or domain how did he get it he just built a relationship with an agent anyone can do that and it's close to school shopping and parks Here's the property, you can see it's not just a cheapie, it's actually very well presented inside and out. Second deal, 7% high yield, beautifully renovated Queensland property under 400K. So in every deal, I'll give you one tip that you can put in your pocket and apply. So the thing is, you can still buy properties under 400K. If you only have 50, 60, $70,000 deposit, you can still buy a property. I know we've gone through a lot of booms, but you can still do this. And this isn't in like super regional whoop whoop. This is in diversified economies. And in those diversified economies, you don't need to have large vacancy rates. This only had one day of vacancy. And people ask me, hey, PK, everything is boomed. Like, is there any market at the bottom of the market? Yes, central Queensland, parts of other regional Queensland are still at the bottom of the market. He's bought this without a buyer's agent, fees saved, $15,000. Once again, this is Liam's second property. And here it is, beautiful, beautiful kitchen, dining area, and beautiful house from the outside too. Property number three, three properties in 12 months. The latest is a 6.8% yield property. Once again, under 450K with tax benefits. This is still a bottom of the cycle Queensland suburb. It's a 2009 build. So the quick tip on this property is that you do not need to buy brand new property to get amazing depreciation benefits or tax benefits. Even established properties have tax benefits, even if they're built in the 80s sometimes, even 70s sometimes, depending on how much renovation is done to it. Definitely those in the 90s and post the turn of the millennium. So don't buy brand new. That is a terrible idea. Generally speaking, you can still reduce your tax if that's what you want to do by buying these high growth, high yield properties. Here's the property right here. Beautiful, very low maintenance, very well built. Property number four, 6.6% yield, subdividable R25 zoning. This is obviously in Perth, renovated property growing monthly. So the tip I want to share in this one is that there are so many areas in Perth where they've just been rezoned, especially on the north side, the middle ring suburbs, both south side and north side. So you can actually buy these blocks that are larger than 700 square meters and they're still priced as if one property, but you can cut them in half and and either sell the land vacant or you can sell it by building something on it in a few years time because it's a terrible idea to build right now generally speaking so that's the tip from this one it's built it's bought by rocky rana terrific guy i've done a youtube interview with him he's bought this off market with that value add potential high yield high growth here's the property beautiful palm tree at the front look at that kitchen i'd love to have that property number five beautiful 6.5 percent yield bought $53,000 below comparables with bonus tax benefits, okay? So still bottom of the cycle, so under 400K, 2005 built. That's where the tax benefits come from. It's close to everything, so it's not like in the middle of no mere. Timothy Press has done really well with his partner. And the thing is that you can buy below comparables 
if you actually understand what the comparables are. If you understand what the true valuation of a property is, sometimes the asking price is above it, sometimes the asking price is below it. The whole point is to know what the value, true value is, irregardless of what the agent is saying, irregardless of what the listing says. And then sometimes you can actually find these arbitrage opportunities. But if you don't have that knowledge, you can't find them. And here's the picture of Timothy's property. Beautiful, beautiful property. Number six, terribly marketed, bad photos, 6.7% yield, 2004 built, old property with tax benefits. So now Vijay, who's actually in Singapore, he's buying all these properties as a PR holder from Singapore. I've done an interview with him as well. Three properties in six months he's got from Singapore. All of them have gone up, zero vacancy. And the tip on this property is that if you can find a property that you're like looking at real estate on, do on domain, you're like, this looks really bad. I don't even know if I wanna inquire definitely inquire because if enough people think that way, then it gets less interest and then you can actually snag a really, really good bargain. So this property, you can see the pictures are just, look at that, it's just like so bad. Who's gonna even want to take any interest in this kind of property? But if you actually understand what drives property growth, which is the numbers, which is the specifications, which are 30 to 35 factors, even at a property level, then you can look past the pictures and actually understand, does this property line up for me in my strategy? Property number seven, Battle Axe subdivision property with 7.5% yield, under 350K beating buyer's agents. Okay, how this is a tip for this property. How do we beat buyer's agents? So buyer's agents, will get a property from the agent, then they'll need to do some due diligence, hopefully <laughs> they do that. Then they send it to the client. Client's busy, they take one or two or three days to come back to them with questions, there's a big to and fro. By the time all of that's happening, my clients have already bought that property because they know exactly what they're looking for. They know exactly when to pull the trigger when they see it. That's how we beat buyer's agents day in, day out, not by paying more for the price. In fact, we pay less because buyer's agents just want to overpay and get the deal done. That's how they get paid, right? But we beat them on terms and speed. All right, so that's the tip for this one. This actually has subdivision upside with no modifications required for the house. You don't have to lift and shift it, cut it, um, truncate it or anything. It's got side access. And so Lockie's done really, really well with this property. You can see here, this is the property. It's got amazing side access. So you can easily build one in the back here. And that's that's what we're looking for. This is the road, come through here, build another property here, Bob's your uncle. Property number eight, 7% yield Perth property bought $60,000 below comparables with tax benefits. Interest rates had no impact on this suburb. I want to reiterate that. I know I sound like a spruker, but when interest rates go up, property prices, they don't go down, okay? They go up. I know this is counterintuitive and it requires so much education for you to understand, but I've done so many videos sharing charts. Prices go up in property markets, in the medium term and the long term, even the short term, regardless what interest rates do. Nafiz has bought four properties in two years now, and he understands this concept. In fact, the property investment accelerator has taught him so much that he's actually become a pro. He's actually become an ethical buyer's agent. Here you go, he's tagged over here, brilliant. And using these negotiations, off market, under market value techniques that he's learned through the course, he's able to do it for himself and now hopefully for, for clients. But tip on this one is how to negotiate. Bring down the wall of information asymmetry. The agent and vendor know stuff that if they tell you, you could hold that against them. Try to break down that wall like Nafiz has and find that information through conversations just over the phone, right? And then you can actually use that as leverage against them. Here's a property, brick property, beautiful front yard, side access, you know, boat parking, it's just got everything. Property number nine, $50,000 or 33% annualized capital growth in three months on a 6.7% yield property under $450,000. Interest rates, once again, having zero impact on this Perth suburb. It costs nothing to hold every year. Properties don't have to cost things to hold, right? <laughs> Yes, it might cost $500, $1,000, interest rates go up once or twice. Sure, they might go up to $1,500 of holding costs, but in six months, rent goes up. In 12 months, rent goes up. In many areas like this one, in Perth, like I've just done a video two days ago, the rents have gone up 40, 45% in the last 12 to 18 months eclipsing interest rate rises. So is it the best time to buy? Yes, if you know what you're doing. Here, Vebov, who's also tagged right here, has bought under market value 
And he's got something with a powered workshop and site access. Why is site access so important? It's because then that gives you an avenue to the backyard where you can build a shed, which improves, increases the value of the property. Here's a picture of the property. It, you can build granny flat, which a lot of states like Victoria and Queensland and SA are really, the state governments are really pushing because of the housing shortage. You know, they're imploring landlords to build granny flats. You can have that by having the sort of side access as you can see here. That's your tip. Property number 10, $45,000 growth or 12% in just four months. That's 36% annualized with 6.8% yield in Queensland. This one is done by Barry, who's a terrific, terrific person. In fact, he was going through one of these firms who sell you like a house and land package. They were going to charge him like tens of thousands of dollars and get kickbacks from the developer. He saw through it. He did the course. Now he's got basically a tenant heaven. All right. The rents are rising so quickly in this. And he's bought this while working 60 hours a week with a young family. So the tip here is that property investing is not a full-time job. You can get a full-time result from not even part-time effort if you know how to laser focus. I know so many of you spend hours and hours and hours every day, you know, researching on real estate or whatever. You don't need to do that. You don't need to spend more than three to five hours a week and you'll get a property like Barry has within one or two months if you're laser focused, if you've sharpened that sword. Sharpen that sword, my friends. That is my tip for this property. And and here it is, like brilliant backyard, which tenant wouldn't love their young family running around in that. Property number 11, $93,000 or 18% equity growth in three months. These aren't made up. Like, you know, all of these people are like tagged. You can come in my Facebook group, DM them, say, hey, is PK making that stuff up in that video? And they'll be like, nope, here's the bank valuation. 6.5% yield off market subdivided property. It's just a diamond property. It's got every facet or every angle that you'd want. And interest rates are having zero impact on much of Perth, including this suburb. Richard has actually bought five properties in two years now and I want to actually share he's actually a buyer's agent now through the course he's become a buyer's agent and so oftentimes he'll share these properties with his clients and his clients because of like fear factor interest rates are rising oh what am I going to do they don't approve they don't say yes to these properties that, that he brings them and then he's like well okay i'll just buy it myself and goes ahead and makes hundred thousand dollars in three months you know on on a basically almost a positive cash flow property with a huge development it's a huge block you know is a huge upside hundreds of thousands of dollars of profits here in a few years so congratulations to richard here's the property and not congratulations to that client who said no i feel bad for them Here's number 12, seven properties in two years. Now, Will, he's an amazing, amazing guy. He's in the Facebook group. And by buying seven properties without a buyer's agent, he's saved himself $105,000. That's my tip for this property. If you do this DIY, of course, through mentorship and through the Property Investment Accelerator course, someone holding your hand, then you can buy an additional two properties or more because of all the fees that you save from not having to pay a buyer's agent, $15 thousand dollars every single time he saved more than a hundred thousand dollars and got a better result if you ask him that is what he'll say low maintenance renovated and like now everyone from youtube property chat facebook forums er everyone's buying in this these areas like waikiki etc we were there first we we're in and out um i can't say i can take the credit but amazing people like will they're the ones who've set themselves up for early retirement their families are really happy and here is number 13 6.8% yield off market SMSF deal under 350k three properties in eight months for David here and let's talk about SMSF that's my tip here if you have this is not financial advice but if you have roughly like 120 150 almost 200k in your SMSF or if you have it in your super fund and you want to convert it and manage your money yourself which I reckon you should do if you're an educator or want to be educated you're a go-getter don't pay other people commissions to manage your money do it yourself right no one cares about your money as much as you do and if you then self-manage it that's how much you need to buy a property through it and through buying it you can actually continue to buy when you've maxed out your serviceability in your personal name so so many people are doing that through the property investment accelerators bought at a modest 20k below market value you know so these are real like i'm not just making this stuff up when it's just 20k below market i'll say it just 20k low but here you've got granny flat potential and he maxed out his borrowing capacity that's why he bought an smsf fantastic work by david buying property for three hundred twenty thousand dollars. total funds required 80 market 
market rent is 420 amazing long term and short term data good vacancy rate block sizes above 600 he's bought this in queensland from sydney didn't catch a single fight built built his entire team and had the local due diligence done by property managers inspectors so he didn't have to catch a flight. It was self-sufficient to then rinse and repeat this process. And he's building passive income. Like that's what it's all about. Here's the property. Really, really nice one. Don't give the keys to your financial future to some random property company. No matter how many five-star Google reviews, they have no one cares about your money as much as you do. Don't pay a $15,000 buyer's agent just so that they can give you properties off realestate.com with three bullet points as to why you should buy them. Don't be fooled into buying like a two to three $3,000 course by said buyer's agent that doesn't really teach you much only for you to then come back to them and say I can't do it I need to pay you 15k to do it for me that's their bait and switch marketing method and the best investment is not in me is not in property is not in real estate but it's in your own mindset in the six inches between your two ears because if you're right here thinking interest rates are rising I better wait then I've got something to tell you <laughs> In the suburbs that are the best suburbs to buy right now, waiting three months, six months, 12 months, you'll buy the same property in the future that you could have bought now only for more. And be confident in yourself, back yourself. Guys, to level up your knowledge, I'll leave links below to my podcast, Oz Property Mastery with PK on Spotify, Google, and iTunes, also my Facebook group, where all of these members that have bought these properties and thousands before them actually live, okay? Australian Property Mastery with PK. There's more than 40,000 people in that. Links below, it's free. Please educate yourself. Do it today. See you guys hit the subscribe button my name's pk see ya